President Donald Trump is going to bring about a rural American renaissance. Meanwhile, up here in Canada, Justin Trudeau is treating farmers like tax cheats and taxing them even more. Donald Trump has made some major announcements at this week's American Farm Bureau annual convention in Nashville, Tennessee. Included in the president's long list of announcements that will benefit rural Americans are allowing all American businesses, including American farmers, to deduct 100% of the cost of new equipment in the year the business makes that investment. Trump is also targeting his opioid task force to examine how best to help rural America deal with the crisis. Trump has promised to renegotiate NAFTA to make it more fair for America's farmers. Now that is a direct dig at Canada's supply managed dairy cartel. Trump also promised to increase broadband internet access in farming communities. Imagine doing modern business with terrible internet service. And Trump will effectively end the death tax, otherwise known as the estate tax, by doubling the threshold of exemption to the death tax to $11 million. This will eliminate the largest financial barrier to young farmers inheriting their farms from their parents. And Trump is keeping his promises to them. By giving farmers tax breaks and repealing onerous regulations, President Donald Trump is about to unleash a time of unheralded growth and innovation in agriculture across America's rural communities. Farmers will be feeding more people and doing it in a more affordable way, which will of course trickle down to the American consumer everywhere. It is fantastic news. We know cheaper food helps everyone, but it especially helps the poor. Meanwhile, in progressive Canada though, Canadian farmers are getting the Canadian version of the estate tax with Finance Minister Bill Morneau's so-called tax reforms on corporations. The changes to capital gains laws will actually make it more expensive for a young farmer to inherit their own family farm than it would be to just buy land from a third party. Only an Ottawa progressive could draft legislation that awful. And Canadian farmers are also being accused of being tax cheats by paying family to work on the farm. Ethics challenged Silver Spoon millionaire Bill Morneau slightly calls this practice of compensating family for their work income sprinkling. He says he's just going to put a stop to it. And closer to home, while American farmers are getting tax breaks and regulatory repeals, Alberta farmers just got another hike in the carbon tax and are trying to sort out all the punitive safety and expensive regulations in Bill 6. Trump is focused on the opioid crisis, trying to make living in rural America safer. And yet in Alberta, Premier Rachel Notley ignored the victims of violent crime from rural Alberta as they sat in the legislature to demand an emergency debate about the rural crime epidemic happening here in Alberta. I'm happy to see rural America finally get its due, to see what's long been considered flyover country be finally appreciated the way people who feed an entire country should be. Trump values the work of the common man, the work people do with their hands and with their backs. It's a stark contrast to the pretentious Hillary Clinton who promised to put entire parts of rural America out of work as a campaign promise. Because we're gonna put a lot of coal miners and coal companies out of business, right Tim? And we're gonna make it clear that we don't want to forget those people. But I'm worried. I'm worried for Canadian farmers who have to compete in a global marketplace when our progressive governments punish them for trying to succeed and trying to give their families what they've worked for. We have people in office in Alberta and in Ottawa who share Hillary Clinton's disdain and disgust for blue collar work. For a downtown New Yorker, President Donald Trump sure understands what it takes to succeed in farming because farmers want what all business people want, no matter where you live on the continent. Fewer regulations, lower taxes, the ability to innovate, and a safe place to raise our families and to do business. For The Rebel.media, I'm Sheila Gunn-Reed. Did you know that I have my own weekly show here on The Rebel? It's, of course, called The Gun Show, and we tackle issues facing Albertans like Rachel Notley's ongoing attacks on our agricultural communities. To get access to my show 
and all of our premium content, become a Rebel subscriber today.